Hey everyone, it's Anna from Lost Stitch. Can you fix a cutting mat that has been warped and curled in several different places so it's almost impossible to use it as a cutting mat? Well, that thing happened to my mat. But the good news is that I actually managed to flatten it out pretty, pretty good with just a few simple tricks. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how. There are actually a few different ways of fixing this issue. And what I did was that I used a combination of heat and pressure. So first of all, you're going to need an iron, then a pressing cloth, just to make sure that you protect the surface of the cutting mat. And thirdly, you need a big wooden plank to really distribute the pressure well and also soak in moisture from the mat when you're heating it up. And lastly, but definitely not least, a big stack of books or something else that is really, really heavy that will keep the mat flat. So we're going to start off by heating the iron. Now I used slightly less than medium heat for reference. I was very careful because I didn't want to ruin the mat. So that's why I gave it not too much heat. I just want to do it safely, if that makes sense. And then I place the press cloth on the um, mat and then I put the iron on and I press quite firmly, not moving too much back and forth. And it's also important to warm up a larger area because when you are doing this solution, you also run the risk of just removing the problem to another area of the cutting mat, which is also why you should use a large board uh, to flatten a large surface of the mat and also that's also why I found it important to actually heat a larger surface before I do the actual pressing. So when do you know when the mat is warm enough? To be honest I have no idea. I just touched the surface with the hand and when I felt it was a little bit warm, a little bit uncomfortable to touch, then I quickly stopped iron and place the cutting board and a stack of books and then I let it set. Now how long should you set it for? Well I tried different method one was that I set it for just a couple of hours and then I reheat the surface and then I let it sit for a couple of hours, reheat the surface and then I let it sit overnight. I've also tried to just iron it once, press, but I did find that repeatedly adding heat over the course of a day was actually more effective. And my main point that I want to bring to you guys now is that this is no quick fix. So don't be discouraged if the curve is slightly resurfacing, so to speak, after you did your first attempt, because normally you will actually have to do this several times. So be mindful about that, that this is not a quick fix, but the good news is that you can actually fix it. So this is how the mat looks now after several days of heating and pressing. Now, of course, it's not 100% super flat, but I don't mind. It's again usable which is the main purpose of doing this. I can now cut my fabrics again without having any problems or things lying flat. If I would be very, very uh, keen on making it super flat, I might repeat the process for a few more days. But in my opinion, this is good enough. And what I'm basically here to tell you is that you can fix it if you're just being patient and experiment and see what method works for you. I should also mention the fact that there are actually other methods out there. One that people seem to have success with is that they put the mat out in the sun on a flat surface and let the sun and the warmth basically from the sun do its work. I've also heard people using um, more moisture to fix the mat because I think the main reason for the mat, uh, this cause of, of happening is because it's a combination of heat and moisture, that's what causes the, the mat to warp in the first place. So I guess it makes sense that the, you can use the same method to fix it. I also tried another tip that I got was, was to use a hairdryer, but that was not as effective as using an iron. So you have to experiment and see what works for you. But as I said, there are definitely more ways of doing it than the ones I showed you. And of course, I'm really curious to know what have you been your experience of fixing this mat, if you have any more tips and especially you know, for how long should you press or how warm should the iron be? All that stuff I love to know because this is definitely a work in progress. But as I said, following this method I showed you in this video, you will achieve pretty, pretty flat mat. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.